If you're using the Chrome browser, it's likely that your passwords or at least some of your personal information are being stored there. And while there's no denying it's convenient and free, is it really the best way to keep your data safe? To answer that, I'll be analyzing Google Password Manager versus 1Password to see how data security stacks up against a dedicated tool with tailored safety and features. Starting with a Google Password Vault review. At first glance, Google Password Manager has the baseline precautions in place, such as biometrics and encryption to protect your account. It also offers 2FA options to authenticate the login process, like SMS, push notifications, and security keys. There's even an automatic password update feature for any breached accounts. However, one thing it lacks, which is a crucial password manager privacy enhancing practice, is a zero knowledge architecture. This basically means that Google could access your data if they needed to, and that's a red flag. But there's more. There are no published third party audits, which means you only have Google's word when it comes to how secure their product is with no unbiased reviews to back up their claims. I mean, it's not like they don't have the budget or resources for audits. After all, it is Google. And on top of that, they don't offer any real transparency about what cryptographic methods are used to safeguard accounts. In comparison, 1Password might as well be a walking green flag. It uses end-to-end -end encryption, is a zero-knowledge password manager, and has undergone multiple independent audits and transparency reports. Basically, 1Password guarantees your data is for your eyes only, and it has the audits to prove it. 1Password also requires a security key for every account and offers plenty of 2FA options, including hardware keys. Not only that, but they added a new feature in 2025 called Secure Agentic Autofill. This prevents AI agents and browsers from stealing your autofill data. Instead of giving your credentials to an AI agent to log in on your behalf, 1Password requires your approval to do so, and the entire process is encrypted. In the near future, you'll even be able to see detailed audits of your autofill data showing where, when, and which agents accessed it. Overall, I think it's clear that Chrome Password Manager security falls short, not only when compared to 1Password, but in the password manager market in general. If you want better security for your data at the best price, scan the QR code on screen now or check our links in the description for a 1Password discount. Moving on, it isn't all about security and features are just as important. Looking at Google first in this password manager comparison, their tool is built right into Chrome and Android, so there is little to no setup required. It lets users instantly autofill credentials as they visit web pages and integrates nicely into Google's ecosystem. When you use Google Password Manager, you'll automatically get password suggestions whenever you sign up for a site for the first time. These are basic but strong passwords, long enough to prevent brute force attacks, although you can't control the number of symbols or create passphrases. That said, if a password is weak, Google has an automatic weak password replacement feature that detects it during login and prompts you to fix it. However, it's not available on all sites just yet. They also have a password checkup feature that alerts users if any information ends up in a data breach. And finally, Passkeys are available. These make logging into supported websites safer by eliminating the need for a password and using your devices for authentication instead. Something I really found missing from Google Password Manager though is the ability to securely store notes or files. You also don't get individual vaults, which makes managing passwords a lot less streamlined. Let's see how 1Password compares. This is where the free versus paid password manager differences really stand out. 1Password has apps for all major operating systems and browser extensions, so you're not limited to Chrome. It helps users organize items into categories, not just passwords, but IDs, documents, and other important information. There are tons of other features too, like masked email aliases. It's simple. When you sign up for a new service, 1Password prompts you to create an email alias instead of using your personal email. The Watchtower is another built-in feature that summarizes the health of your personal information. If any of it gets breached, leaked, or becomes vulnerable, you'll see it right here in a single dashboard. Most notably, 1Password has vaults. You can name them, change their icons, or add descriptions. You can even import data directly into a vault or drag and drop information inside. With the family plan, entire vaults can be shared too, while still keeping personal vaults that work independently from one another. Then there's travel mode, a feature I've only ever seen one password offer. This lets you mark specific passwords and vaults as safe for travel. And finally, you can also store and sync passkeys within your one password account. 
Are there any differences when it comes to actually using these tools? I'll give Google a point for setup. There really isn't one. It works automatically with your Google account. For beginners who don't want to use anything outside of Chrome, it's ideal, but more advanced users might find the lack of portability a bit limiting. Because 1Password has apps for most operating systems, it's already a lot more accessible, not just as a password manager for Android or Chrome, but across nearly all devices. 1Password does require a setup, but it's as simple as installing any other application. If you're a beginner, there are certain features that make the process a lot easier. For example, 1Password Quick Access lets you find any item you need without leaving the app, and it even suggests credentials you use most often. There are also tons of shortcuts that let you use your keyboard for instant commands, like autofill or locking 1Password. Most importantly, 1Password makes importing and exporting passwords simple. They even provide guides showing you exactly how to do it, and it's fully compatible with browsers and other password managers. If you use different browsers or operating systems, there's no denying that 1Password is much more accessible, with complementary features that make the whole process simple. But the elephant in the room is that 1Password comes at a cost, and Google Password Manager is free with your Google account. While 1Password requires a subscription, it more more than makes up for the price, and you can try it for free for 14 days without paying or entering any card details. There are both individual and family plans. The higher tiers unlock more advanced tools, but if you just need basic protection, the entry-level plan is more than enough. To be honest, none of their subscriptions are expensive compared to the rest of the market, and I definitely recommend 1Password considering how useful it is. Of course, remember, you can get 1Password at the cheapest price using the links down below. What's the bottom line in this Google Password Manager versus 1Password battle? Google Password Manager is free, offers basic password management, and works fine for Android or Chrome users who don't handle sensitive data outside of Google's ecosystem. On the other hand, 1Password is perfect for anyone who values privacy, wants full control over their data, and needs easy access across multiple platforms. And don't forget, we also have our very own free password leak checker. It doesn't store any entries and will instantly tell you if your password has been leaked anywhere online. You can watch our best password manager 2025 video for a full comparison. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and see you soon.